Are you kidding me? It's 7.30 in the evening. Hi guys, I'm Martikor and The Sims 3 today because I really want to show you something that I've already shown on my Polish channel, so my Polish audience already knows this. There's no, there's no point in watching this video for the Polish people that watch my Polish channel. In that video I showed a lot of my old saves from The Sims 3, but in this one I, I just want to focus on the oldest and the very first save file that I ever made in this game. So, as you can see, the last time I played it was in 2013, but the moment I started the save file must have been somewhere in December 2009, I think. Because that's when I really got into playing The Sims 3. So this is the save file that I was playing for a while, and uh, I pretty much learned a lot, like, almost everything about the game that I know now on this particular save file. I was very committed to it, so let's look at this save file and see what's wrong with it, so that I stopped playing with it, aside of just being bored of it, obviously. So it says that it's Sunset Valley 31, but um, it actually started out as just Sunset Valley, um, but I was using the save as option a lot, probably not 31 times, I just used random numbers probably. Just a side note that I used to be really bad with naming my save files and like I have a lot of them, dozens of save files that are just copies of one another and they are named in such weird ways that I don't know what, what it is. I would love to reorganize my save files, but it's freaking impossible. There are so many of them. I kept almost everything that I've ever played. So yeah, I literally have a save file that is named Twinbrook. Also, a very important note, I am using the smooth patch. So um, the lagginess of the game that also kind of kept me from playing the save file, I think, I'm pretty sure, will not be there anymore. I recommend the smooth patch to everyone that plays The Sims 3, even if your game doesn't really lag that much, just get it because it, it makes it so much better. It's insanely good. And I also have to say that um, what you see on the picture here might not look like that it w when we are in the game because I was using a lot of store content that... Um, I didn't really pay for back then and I don't do that anymore, so um, no, I don't want to place anything. <laughs> yeah, I know, all the store content is gone. Um, I only have the, the, the thing that I bought, actually. Uh, also, I have some, like, enhancements of the game's looks, uh, like um, Enchanted Environment and like a lighting mod of some kind, they are all from Pleasant Sims. So just, you know, just go to her website or like a video that she made about The Sims 3 and you'll find everything. This family has about eight generations. It depends where exactly, but this is like the main line. I, I don't want to call it a legacy or anything like that because it was like I made myself and I was just playing through all those generations after me. So I am obviously dead somewhere in a backyard of the first house I lived in. And um, I will show you the family tree, but it's freaking huge. <laughs> Who are these babies? Okay, I guess there are people like that. So this is the Frio family, because somewhere on the way, someone got married to a Frio descendant and, you know, just the, the name came into the family. So I think this is like my granddaughter or something. Actually great-granddaughter, I think, because this is my daughter, I think. Like a lot of names that I used were um, Polish because, you know, I was playing the Polish version back then. It's just like all over the place when it comes to names. Some of them are Polish, some of them are very, very weird, just like no language, it's made up totally. And some of them are, are just English because that's um, what the game does. Even in the Polish version, it 99% of the time um, generates English names for Sims. So this is me. Um, I, I married Cyclone Sword, actually, but I changed his name to Billy. No idea, like, I, I didn't like that his name was kind of like a nickname, and I wasn't exactly sure what that meant, you know? I didn't realize that it was actually Cyclone Sword, uh, so I didn't really know how to refer to him in my head, so I just changed his name to, like, a normal name, let's say, but I kept the zero in the last name, yeah, in the sword. 
Anyway, like, let, let's just ignore that, you know? This is Norris. Oh, uh, yeah, Wade was pretty cool. Oh my god, there are so many people here. And honestly, a lot of people just have the pudding face. And this is the main thing that kept me from continuing this um, save file. Because, you know, like, throughout the four years that I played this, from not really that long after the game was released to somewhere in 2013, um, the story progression kind of started kind of fading and I didn't use NRASs or anything, like I didn't use any mods for story progression. So I only had what I made in the game, just switching families sometimes or what the game provided itself. Well, it used to be back in the day at the beginning of The Sims 3 when it comes to story progression, it was um, basically just Sims cloning themselves. I don't know if you remember that, but I can even show you, I mean, those people are all dead, but I can even show you um, somewhere in my family tree that... Because actually the, the name Frio came from the Frio family, as I said, and the guy that gave the name was actually a clone of, of Jared Frio. Because Jared had a child that was just a copy of him, you know? That's what used to happen for story progression in The Sims 3. That's awful. But it's better than just um, than nothing happening and just, you know, the game generating hundreds of sims that all have the same face, the pudding face, right? You might have not noticed that somehow, but it's so it was so annoying to me at some point. When I when I discovered this, I was like, what the hell? Why is the game doing that? I don't like when my sims all look the same, okay? Oh wait, there's Dennis Frio. What? Okay, something is broken in this family tree because there is Connor and there is Brandy. I think this is a coincidence and this isn't actually Connor, even though he looks like him a lot. <laughs> like, even the hair and, and the beard. But like, okay, that's really weird. But anyway, it was like the Frio family just kept cloning themselves and uh, this guy actually looked like Jared a lot. Oh, Michael Bachelor, yeah! Lorraine actually looked a lot like him as well. So, and there's no mother. You see? So people were just cloning themselves. One, two, three, four, uh, five. Wait, this is four. I need to go to wait. It's still four. Five, six, seven. It's actually seven generations. I was pretty sure that it's eight. But... I mean, that's still a lot, and that's still a huge family tree that I just get lost in. Error trap recorded too. Yeah, that's great. Um, what's the... Oh, yeah, Veronica is the horse's name. Oh, the, the cat's name is is Chancellor. Where where are you? Where did you go? Are, what? Oh, man, that will be a long way. Should I say Chancellor or Chancellor? I'm not sure. The basement, I can't. It's like, I made a tunnel starting from the garage that goes all the way to the other side of the, um, like to the garden or whatever. And there are graves in here as well. There's Lizette, there's Brandy, there's Michelle, there's Nolan, there's Whitney. You probably didn't see Whitney in the family tree, but like she was there, okay? I remember her. I think she was actually Ben's first wife. I am pretty sure because now he just got married to Colette, uh, who is a total pudding face. Um, and she is somewhere else. I don't know what's happening here, but... <laughs> and it's freaking hailing. Oh no, the llama! Didn't I... Didn't I get a mod for that? Oh, that's so annoying. Now we have awesome mod that stops pudding faces from appearing, and I think this guy or lady... Lady, I think... Yeah, she is definitely not a pudding face. So she just got generated and is perfectly fine. She has a, just a random face, not the same face as everyone. But in this family, Ben maybe has like one trait that isn't pudding, but everything else is totally pudding. Luther is quite okay, I guess. Um, Arianne is very unique looking. Um, Meg I actually made. Uh, so Colette is totally pudding. Brandon is, well, pretty much totally pudding. 
And also Miranda and Carrie are very similar to the pudding face. So it's like the whole family has pretty much the same face at this point, you know? Uh, but I was creating a lot of Sims, and at least there's that, that I I could, like, breed some new genetics into the family. Uh, but, like, I feel like that's not enough. Pretty much the whole Sunset Valley is, is family at this point. So I just had a wedding here. The, the ending point for me of this save file is a wedding that Ben remarried with a younger woman. Um, oh yeah, ghosts. Um, and Brandon married Meg. So, yeah. Like, I was probably planning to move someone out or something. That's Nolan. He, he was also a total pudding face. Oh, the cat is almost home. <laughs> Good. Oh, okay. No driver, no driver. Yeah, no, now I have mods that just clean out all those things. Um, so maybe this save file wouldn't be that clogged up, but it is actually... It is actually kind of messy. And there were a lot of cases of people... Wait, maybe I will find this in the family tree again. Uh, that um, there were a lot of cases of people just disappearing. Or of... Um, you probably experienced this in the early stage of the game. That newborns in unplayed families died for no reason. I remember that Henry uh, disappeared. That was... Oh yeah, here he is. And here is a dead baby. Yeah, this is my main family, right? I was playing here, I had a newborn baby, then I switched to another family to just, you know, like, impregnate someone or just do something. And then I went back to my main family and the baby was gone and appeared as dead in the family tree. Like, this is just spooky. Perfect for Spooktober. And Henry um, was a sim that I moved out to a different house because they had extra money, so I just used this money to get him a new house and I wanted him to have a family soon. And I, I just wanted to switch back and forth, as always, and he just disappeared. Like, I wanted to switch to his family and he, he was just not there. And he doesn't appear dead or anything, but, like, there is absolutely no info about him than his name. No traits, nothing. And he was actually a pretty cool sim, so I was really upset when that happened. Uh, the same with Joanne that died. I mean, I know babies can die when they are very, very little, that, like, that there is a risk of that, you know? Um, but in The Sims? <laughs> Come on! So yeah, that happened. This is Freddy, I think, the guy with the black hair, and I think this is Ben's son? Oh, it's Philip, not Freddy, sorry. <laughs> Oh, and this is Terence! Oh, those are the guys! Oh my god, Terence was um, also a very spooky story. I was at the park that I made. There was like a hill and there was a telescope there. So like uh, that you could just go and, and look at the stars or like see the views of the town from there. Just an idea, a nice idea that I had. So they went there and he got stuck somewhere. And before I even thought of resetting him or just doing anything, he just disappeared and he was just completely gone. So yeah, I named the, the boys Philip and Terence, Terence and Philip, like in South Park, because I used to use a lot of, I mean, I, st I still kind of do that, uh, but I used to use a lot of names from uh, like TV series or something. Just something random that I thought of, you know? Um, and Philip is still very much okay. He has three kids, he's married and everything, but Terence is no more. <laughs> I think he was, oh, it says sin instead of son. Oh yeah, because um, I used to play in Polish, so some of the info is actually in Polish, which is so strange, but at least his traits show. <laughs> So there's that. Maybe there would be a way to actually bring him back somehow with some mods. I don't know. But Henry is probably long gone. Is this the park? This is the hill here. It's fenced and there are two telescopes in here. And Terence, I think he actually went somewhere here somehow and he, he was just like, uh, I can't move, you know, and then he just disappeared. Wow, this park is actually really nice. I made this? <laughs> God, I was really unlazy with the game back in the day. Definitely not something that would happen now. 
I was so engaged. If you didn't know that about me yet, um, I explained in my vlog about me and The Sims that I actually used to be a huge Sims 3 player. Like, uh, it used to be my favorite Sims game, and I played the most of it, I think. So yeah, there are some very weird people, like the lady with the pink hair. It was like, you know, it was so long ago that some of the Sims are actually made by my ex or something. It's like, <laughs> it's crazy, man. Oh, yeah, there was a family like that, I kind of remember. And of course, he went to paint his face. Oh no, I have notifications from story progression, I don't want this. Yeah, he will just get all of the paints that he can get. And there are empty cars everywhere. <laughs> this is crazy. What? Is this a car in a car? This is just perfect. There are 62 adults, 37 elders, 6 children, 9 teens, and 28 young adults. So it's somewhere around 140 sims. Uh, so it could have been a lot worse. Definitely. When you play with one family and just have the story progression mod going all the time, you will definitely end up with so many more sims. That's why I disable progression from time to time. I actually only enable it when I need other people to reproduce because my family is reproducing at the moment and I just need other children. So I recommend doing that. Who? What kind of name is that? That's definitely my exes. Oh my god. Michael Ackerfeld. <laughs> I forgot about that. There's still the sword name in the family? Wow, I didn't even realize that. It's actually nice to, you know, look at those weird ideas that I had back in the day. Especially the park. Hi, Brandy. But it is lagging, I'm not gonna lie. So I hope you enjoyed this video somehow. If you have very old save files, tell me about it. Tell me in the comments what are the crazy things that you did or made or some stories or anything like that. For example, in this family, when there was the Frio situation, actually it was like Brandy, the one, the, the guy that was a ghost uh, a second ago. He was like a step-brother or step-cousin of this girl that was also living here in the family. It was something like that. Uh, and they got married because I just thought, yeah, okay, I have two teenagers in the house that aren't really related, so I could just do that, you know, like they've spent their almost entire lives living together and they bonded and all that stuff, so like, yeah, there was something like that here, but there were a lot of other things, especially that I was switching families a lot. So as always, thank you very much for watching, subscribe, and comment, stuff like the video, and see you in the next one. Bye.